everybody. I'm Tom LeBlanc, editor of Commercial Integrator. I'm here with John Zettel, CEO of AVISBL. Well, actually, I'm in Massachusetts, and John Zettel is down at AVISBL's headquarters in Tampa. I'm sitting in uh, VideoLink, which is a video production company that AVISBL acquired a couple of years ago. And, you know, John, this is a great setup, and uh, thanks for being here with me. I'm glad to be here, Tom. So, Reporters really shouldn't make the story be about them, but just bear with me for just a second here, John. So we launched Commercial Integrator in early 2011, and nobody had heard of us. And one of the keys that I felt would lead to the success or you know traction for a Commercial Integrator would be for us to kind of establish ourselves as uh, the voice of integrators and one of the things that was particularly important was getting the largest and leading integration firm in the AV market on board with talking to us once in a while so that we could kind of you know get an ear for your voice and we could start you know sharing insight you know directly from AVISBL to the community so it took a while because nobody had ever heard of commercial integrator we probably sounded like a competitor to AVISBL but we did you know, eventually start to talk to you, and I got a good interview with you early in the year. We ended up holding it and making you the integrator of the year in 2011. So that was eight years ago. That's a long time ago, or seven years ago. That's a long time ago. And we did it back then because you were, like I said, the largest and the leading integration firm in the AV market. And now, sitting here today, you guys are still the largest and the leading AV integration firm in the market. Now, the market's changed and evolved a lot in those seven years, but you guys have as well. So maybe can you talk a little bit about how the market has evolved and how you guys have managed to stay on top of it for all this time and continue to do so? Sure. First off, uh, congratulations to Commercial Integrator. Uh, as they say, you know, we, we've both come a long way since then. And, uh, and, and when you ask the question about AVISPL over those last seven years, you know, our, our guiding principle is definitely our, our customers and, and what they are looking for uh, in the collaboration space. And, and that has changed a lot. Not only has uh, video conferencing become more important, has connected solutions become more important, but then the, the consistency of delivery and the serviceability of, that, uh, of those systems have become critically com uh, important. So AVISPL has, has changed a great deal in terms of how we can best deliver on those principles. Again, just really focused on what the customer expectations and needs are. So yeah, I talked about how the market has evolved a lot in the last few years. And one of the things that seems really significant to me is the integration firms at the top of the market in terms of the highest revenue integration firms led by AVISBL are, uh, well, there's a much wider gap between the largest firms and the mid-sized firms than there used to be, you know, back when, you know, this whole conversation started. Now, I'm wondering, what, what, what as um, one of those high revenue integration firms with probably more resources than a lot of its competitors what advantages does that give to AVISBL when you talk about, like you said, serving customers being such a high priority? So, so you know, again, when you, when you look at uh, the, the enterprise customer, th there is a tremendous value for having uh, a consistent delivery across their, their entire platform. And uh, in, in having geographic presence, having the, the largest uh, certified team of resources to design and integrate those solutions are, are critically important to that success. But, but, but then uh, on day two serviceability and helping them manage and drive the utilization of their systems, the fact that we have you know, four uh, help desks that operate on a 24 by seven basis to make sure that those systems are up and running, uh, that consistency plays into that in our ability to service those uh, those solutions quickly and get the get the customer back running if there are any issues or even driving optimization through our managed services so that's where the scale really really helps us uh, going forward 
And then that same, those same principles then can be applied to all of our customers, not just the enterprise customers, who definitely want that uh, quick response uh, when there's uh, an issue with their, with, their, with their system, want to optimize the use of their system, they can leverage those same resources as well. So you talk about scale, and I'm wondering if there's a flip side to that. Like, if I was a smaller or mid-sized integration firm competing against a larger firm, I'd probably try to hang my hat on you know more person-to-person -person service, and I would paint a picture of the larger integration firm not being able to provide that level of personal service. So how as you know, how does AVISBL you know being you know a larger firm with more resources? How do you close that gap and make sure that that's not something that you know can be a knock on you? Well, well, first, our, you know, our company culture is one that that consistent consistently looks at exceeding our customers' expectations, and it always has been. Uh, one of my favorite stats uh, of any, and we have lots of them at our company, is that 89% of our business for the last five years has come from recurring customers. And that's, that speaks to our ability to meet our customer expectations. We, we also have uh, customer satisfaction um, models in place to make sure that we, we stay on top of it as well. But basically, it is our company culture. But, but what I would say directly to the question of you know, the big battleship versus maybe uh, smaller companies is that AVISPL has over 45 offices around the world and they take a local market presence to each of those offices. So we are very nimble in the markets in which we serve, uh, yet we have the scale to serve at a broader base uh, as well. So we actually combine uh, the best of both worlds when we're dealing with our customers. Okay. Another thing that has evolved in the years since Commercial Integrator and AVI SBL began uh, chatting probably about seven years ago is you guys as well as the rest of the industry have gotten more involved in the acquisition market and it, it seemed to you know even get a little, a little bit more of a kickstart when AVI SBL itself was acquired by HIG uh, a few years ago so can you talk a little bit about what are some strategies that you guys consider you know when you're looking at potential acquisitions and also, you know, what are some expectations that we might have for what you guys might do going forward with acquisitions? <laughs> uh, so uh, this is going to be a 30,000-foot answer. Uh, basically, uh, when we look at, at acquisitions, we, we look at how it could enhance the uh, uh, geography. So whether it's a new geography or whether it augments an existing geography where we think we can get more market share uh, that would be one factor that we would look at. The, the second would be in terms of the, the platform that we, um, th that we currently have, uh, where can we bolster it or where can we add to it to be able to provide more solution sets to our customers. And again, uh, that would all be determined on, uh, on what we see the customers asking from us and, and where, where they're going as well. So. You know, we, we, we really focus our, our efforts when it comes to acquisitions on geographies, platform, and what, what customer needs are to determine it. So, you know, what can you, what can you expect going forward? Uh, you know, the answer is uh, continued uh, acquisitions. That's about as uh, broad as I can be. <laughs> you don't want to break news. Not, not today. <laughs> okay, well, one of the acquisitions that's a good example of um, AVISBL strategy that you just described is you guys a couple of years ago acquired Videolink, which is a video production company, and, and it's what led to me sitting here in Videolink's headquarters outside of Boston and you sitting in Tampa. Um, it, it provides uh, resources for organizations that need to do good high quality video remote interviews. So that could include you know, media companies, and it often does, but it also could include more traditional AV integration companies, customers. So how, I guess my question is, how has the integration of Videolink with AVISBL gone, and you know, what can we expect going forward? So uh, uh, good question, and like you said, this is a great example of where, uh, where the technology is in play. And, and, you know, with, with workplace transformation, with 
with the generational shift of the workplace to more millennials now outnumbering any other generation, uh, you know, you, you see where, where corporations are, are changing their delivery method of information to a, to a digital basis. And, and ReadyCam and, and the video link or, uh, solutions it, it really give corporations, companies, uh, good, high quality access to those kind of technologies for, for broadcasting information. So you know, not only is it a, a, a very relevant technology when a corporation is trying to communicate with the outside world, uh, whether that be through you know, any kind of a network feed, but it's also critically important for their internal communications as well. And, and we felt like, uh, like Videolink provided a, 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 a very real solution to corporations that were looking to change the way they, they broadcast that internal information. So to date, uh, it has gone very well. Uh, we're seeing where Videolink has maintained some of their legacy business as it relates to, to broadcast, uh, but also has really enhanced our ability to find that niche within the corporate community and enhance their communications. Well, I do think that you know this type of video content creation and facilitating uh, video communication for companies is a really important uh, area for AV integrators going forward. And it reminds me of you know how we started this conversation with me hearkening back to you know meeting with you guys seven years ago. Back then, you guys were very focused on video conferencing, and you were talking a lot about how there's a lot of future. For, you know, for an AV integrator who's good at addressing the fact that there are so many meeting rooms that aren't equipped for video conferencing. And there was a huge opportunity there, and that proved, of course, to be very correct. And there have been other times in the past seven or eight years when AVISBL seems to have taken a lead with you know, categories that have turned out to be really important for the AV integration market. So I want you to clue me in on what are the next big things. <laughs> what, is, what is AVISBL very focused on in terms of opportunities going forward? You, you, <laughs> the, uh, it, we're, we're clearly focused on, on the fact that collaboration uh, you know, means more than, than, than just video conferencing. And, and we're very focused on the fact that uh, video conferencing and collaboration has to change the user experience at work. It is not just a, a form of communication. It is not just a, a way to have a meeting. It's, it's a way to work on a daily basis. And uh, it, it'll become more critical as companies uh, you know, continue to attract and retain millennials. It'll be more critical as companies try to leverage their international uh, and global workforces uh, it, it, and it'll be more than just meeting. It, it'll be true collaboration. And, and we have to make sure that uh, as, as that continues to evolve, uh, as, as content sharing, as, as, as video continues to evolve, that we're at the cutting edge of, of what those technologies are and how different groups within the organization will consume that technology and really be able to leverage it uh, for, their, for their company's benefit. Okay. Um, I want to transition a little bit and talk a little bit about geography because another area in which you guys have been expanding is in geographically. You guys have expanded your presence over the last few years in Canada, in Europe, in Asia, and I don't want you to break news, but I, how important is AVI SBL's global business strategy? Because it seems like you guys are very focused on where you are in the world now. You're going to keep going until I until I give away a secret, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> the, uh, the, we, we are very focused, and it, it, it goes back to uh, what I said earlier. The, the enterprise customer is, is is now a global customer, and and you know not only do they want consistency of design, consistency of use, but they but but to increase utilization, they definitely want serviceability and then the managed services that drive utilization even further. And, and that's where you know, there's a, there is a tremendous value to having one integrator uh, be able to provide that umbrella. So you know, geograph geographical presence plays a critical part of that. 
the help desks providing 24 by 7 coverage provide another element of that. And, and within those uh, two platforms, we have created uh, a global accounts management program that then focuses on those accounts and provides uh, you know, a, a different level of, of, of touch for those customers to make sure that they're leveraging their investments in the collaboration assets that they're buying. And then just sort of finally, John, you know, I had talked about how it, it is pretty impressive that AVISBL has played a leading role in the AV integration industry for such a long period of time. I want to get from you, because it's not just the resources, it's not just, you know, the physical presence and, you know, the, the mergers and acquisitions. What do you think it is about what AVISBL offers that sets you guys apart from the pack? And obviously you're biased and obviously you feel that you are set apart from the pack. So describe why you think that is. AVISPL is a company dedicated to innovation and that, that is unique. Many people view integrators as, as being sort of robotic in what they do. But when, when you look at, you know, through the years, the patents that we have held, when you look at the fact that, the, you know, the, the symphony platform that we offer for our services, we're, we're a company committed to innovation. And that, that speaks uh, to the transformative nature of our company for the last 20 years and what we've been able to do. So it, it does cycle back to resources. It, it does cycle back to our people because they have to be the ones committed to that innovation. Uh, and, and then it, it, that innovation is what goes to our ability to, to, to just work that, that extra mile to deliver on customer expectations and exceed customer expectations. And, and I do think that is, is one of the unique features when you combine that innovation with the, with the culture and commitment to our customer. Uh, that is, is what sets AVISPL apart. John, as always, thanks for um, offering your insight for the commercial integrator audience, and we appreciate your time. Thank you, Tom.